Some Caucasians, how y'all doing? Are you all right? Are you all right, doing good? That's what I like to hear, man. I wish my hairline was good enough for my barber to post on his Instagram page. But I got the hairline of a civil rights leader, so. <laughs> Promise you, man, if I grew my hair, I'll put a part on the side. I look like Frederick Douglass, man. Promise you. My hairline came across your Instagram feed. Would you double tap? You taking way too long. You taking way too long. She just looked at me like I was a Disney movie, like. <laughs> hey, a picture day at elementary school, man. Cause my mom would take it to the barber and tell the barber, oh, we want to keep the widow's peak. No the hell we don't want to keep the widow's peak. Nine years old out here looking like Batman. So glad to be back at Wiley's, man. Cause lately I've been doing a lot of shows at the Funny Bone, right? And I was back there last week, and this white comic came up to me. He was like, hey, are you from Columbus? I was like, yeah, I'm from Columbus. He was like, I heard you guys got a lot of black comedians up there. I was like, well, I don't have a head count, Jeffrey Dahmer. It's <laughs> like, man, this dude, let me hurry up and get home, man. This dude trying to deep fry my esophagus, man. <laughs> I love doing comedy, man, I do. I love doing comedy. But like, one of the things that I despise about doing comedy is when comics come up, come up on stage and they'll start off a new joke by saying, hey, I got a new joke. I just wrote it today. Know, working out the kinks, so bear with me. Cause now we're expecting you to bomb. You know, like, you set the expectations really, really low. And had you not said that, we actually could've gave you some giggles. We would've listened, you know what I'm saying? And now, we gotta sit here for 30 seconds to a minute to hear you waste this joke, like, waste our time. It's just, it's so frustrating. And I just, I really feel like it's ruining the game of comedy, man. I just, I don't know, man, it's a new joke. I just wrote it today. <laughs> working out the cake, so bear with me. I got an Alexa at home. I was setting it up before I got here. I was like, hey, Alexa, connect my Bluetooth. She was like, connect it. I'm in the kitchen, minding my business. Out of nowhere, Alexa gonna tell me, next time, just say, connect my phone. <laughs> How many bills you pay up in here? I know I didn't just pay $32.98 for this other sort of back talk me in my own house. Back talk me one more time, ho. It's gonna be Ike and Tina up in here real quick. She was like, nigga, who you think you talking to? Huh? Huh? How'd your voice change so fast? What's your pronouns? What's your pronouns? Now I got a secret to tell you guys. All right, it's not too many of us in here, so I'm trusting you to keep. <laughs> Keep this in house, all right? Um, niggas that walk down the street while rapping to themselves scare me. Cause you can just tell something is off, you know what I mean? Cause you're not gonna see no white person walking down the street and take a nickel back talking about. Just not, that's not y'all thing. There's so many of y'all like confused that I actually know that song. It's, you should see the look on your face right now. Before I came up here, man, I was going to the bathroom and uh, I was walking out and this dude was walking in there and he had on black nail polish and then he started singing, and the body's at the floor. I was like, no, this is my time. It's about to be a pit stop. I gotta get in and out of date. This is crazy right there, man. I appreciate y'all little Caucasian giggles, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Go ahead and follow me on IG at TYE Comedy. Once again, that's TYE Comedy. I saw a whole bunch of freaks walking in earlier, so go ahead and add me on OnlyFans at Tide Body, all right? <laughs> Wally's, I appreciate you, man. Give it up for all your comments.